As children grow into teenagers, it becomes more challenging for parents to know what they're thinking and feeling. Many parents consider themselves pretty lucky if they get more than a grunt or a one-word answer to questions they ask. And it's common for youth to go through the ups and downs of adolescence. This is normal. So how do we know if a youth is crying out for help? How do we know if things are really normal or not? What do we need to look out for? Well, research shows that there are some key warning signs to be aware of and about four out of five youth give a clear warning sign prior to a suicide attempt. Warning signs are similar to clues or red flags. Some warning signs may be easier to detect, such as when a youth expresses a wish to die. Other signs are harder to uncover. In these cases, emotions and feelings may be locked inside, hidden from family or friends. What's important to keep in mind is that you're looking for drastic changes in behavior and mood over a relatively short period of time. Here are some other common signs to watch out and listen for. Some teens are open about their thoughts and feelings and say things like, I just want to go to sleep and I never wake up. Or, if blank happens, I'm going to kill myself. Or, what's the point? Nothing is going to get any better. Or even things like, you'd probably be better off without me. It's also important to really listen, even when your child isn't talking. Watch for things like increasing use of alcohol or drugs, grades that are tanking, withdrawing from activities, looking for a way to kill themselves, such as searching online for materials or means, isolating themselves from family and friends, sleeping too little or too much, exhibiting a sudden or unexplained calm after a long period of depression, saying goodbyes, giving things away or tying up loose ends, and persistent moods such as depression, anxiety, loss of interest, irritability, humiliation, agitation, or rage. And remember, any written or verbal statement of I want to die or I don't care anymore should be treated seriously. If your child's behavior has you concerned, don't wait to contact a school counselor or local mental health provider who works with children to have your child or teen evaluated as soon as possible so that your son or daughter can start therapy or counseling. However, call your local mental health crisis support team or go to your local emergency room if you think your child is actively suicidal and in danger of self-harm. Growing up today sure isn't easy, and parenting children today can be really stressful at times. It's important to be aware of warning signs for suicide, especially during tough times. Together, we can all reach out and speak up to help prevent suicide, and remember, listening can be life-saving. For more information, visit relationships.usu.edu.